The steps of the MotoGP tyres uh, is a long process, a very difficult process because we have many steps. Uh, we start by making compounds and semi-finished products, okay? The, the, the compounds is a, a very complex mixture by using synthetic rubbers, uh, also natural rubbers, many chemical ingredients like uh, carbon blocks, like plasticizer. The semi-finished products are uh, where the place where we make, uh, for example, uh, the, the plies and also the casing of the tire. Of course, the casing is composed by, by using cords and these cords are coated by using different uh, qualities of rubbers. Also, some other cords are coated to prepare the plies. And also, we have uh, to cut the plies in a given way in order to give the final angle of the, of the plies. And then also the sidewalls of the tire are using once again a different compound. So it's a really complex process where we have to, to put together all these products. And once we have prepared the semi-finished, we start by assembling the tire. I didn't know when I arrived there uh, how many people work for, for, for the MotoGP tire. And it was very interesting because I think uh, more or less 10 people work for, to make a, a tire. It's a big process, it's uh, very hard because uh, it's not so easy to, to produce uh, one uh, MotoGP tire. And the people are very focused on, uh, on, on this job. And um, I know, I understand uh, well what is a uh, what is a <clears throat> difficulty to, to make a tire and also for me it's better to, to understand when I uh, on a bike. That starts by having the carcass uh, on the drum and once we have the, the carcass we are able to put the beads, we are able to put different rubbers around the bead and also to put the sidewalls of the tire in order to, to give the, the final, the final uh, assembly of the, of the tire. And of course, at the end, another very important part is uh, the tread. The tread we are going to, to coat around the tire, and that tread will be in contact with the asphalt to, to get the maximum grip of the tire. It's a long process, and we also have to ensure a high quality of the products because these tires are used at high speeds on trucks and also having high temperatures. And this is a, a, a complex product, but we have to have the best quality, of course.